What is up guys, Carl here and welcome to the second part of Let's Play Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. In the last episode, we actually went to kill the Mecha Dragon and became cursed to become Lizard Man, the uh, scaly, fire-breathing person you see in front of you. So we were basically about to go through this door and head off to the first main area of the game. Let's just do that right now. Ah, we are in a windmill. There is a door in the sky. I've seen Stranger Things, but we should try and go through today now. And now we are in the desert. I think we follow the arrow with the gigantic uh, redness of it. So we'll just take that. Gigantic redness. The sign with the gigantic red arrow on it, basically. So yeah. We should just uh, keep going. While I'm blithering on like an idiot over here. Duck the fireball that's been spat at me by a sunflower. Disgraceful habit, sir. Take that up. Good. I love the backdrops of the, uh, the Egyptian buildings and the sphinxes and the tombs. It's a far cry from retro mode and it's a uh, rather plain purple background. Oh, got hit there by that. Some for and the Hanny's friend spitting away at me. Kill them. Good, good. Should duck that. Right, good, got him again. Good, block that, and I can jump over. Like that. Oh, we have some cheating sunflowers now that actually happen to have grown shorter than the other ones. That's not on. How am I supposed to dodge you if you're not all on the same level? Most unsporting. Oh, and we have another healing potion. Oh yeah, that reminds me, when we actually went off camera last episode, I managed to pick up a second healing potion. Oh, there is another cloud there. I'm not having that. We can possibly hit him. There we go, we got him. We actually reached him in this time, that's quite cool. Right, we're getting slow flying. Uh, oh, sorry, low growing some Low flying? What? I do apologize, I've been trying to record this a lot today, but various things have happened. So it's meant to have been somewhat disrupted. If I am brithering like an idiot, please feel free to ignore me, but uh, do try and keep listening because there will be some interesting stuff. Just jump over the top of this pyramid. Sun is uh, low in the sky there. If you go all the way over here, there is actually a pig with a crossbow there, which we, is causing us problems. So we kill him, get a load of money, enter the tomb, and here's a chest, which gives us a third heart. So we have three hearts now. Well, we would have to have three hearts if we didn't insist on running into these crossbow bolts. So let's just keep traveling up here. Bringing. I do like the version of the music in this too. They, they did a really good job of all the modernizations in this. This actually has like the Egyptians of the theme stuff as well, which is really cool. Little cloud. If I jump over here, drop down to the springs, bounce back up, and then drop back down again. But this door would take us back up to the springs, which we don't want. What we do want though is to dodge these gargoyle heads. Spring up there. Kill the pumpkin. That's a very narrow passageway, isn't it? Hmm. And there's some more of these checked blocks here. I wonder what they do. So we're just running around killing these pumpkins with hats. Terrible fashion sense. Kill again. There we go. We to make sure that this crossbow guy doesn't kill us. There we go, kill him. That helped. Jump over here. Spring up. Ah, we have a nurse's office here, so if we go in... Really? Really? Give me health, but then also try and kill me with terrible puns. 
Ah, oh, well, double-edged sword, you got to take it sometimes. And there is a key. So we've now collected that. And here's the locked door. So in we go. Deeper into the pyramid we travel. We are now in the pyramid hall. There's a frog. Because, you know, frogs are a common sight in temples. Oh, and, and pyramids. Nice hieroglyphics in the background, too. Again, if we go to retro mode. Okay for a master system, but not as good as this. Kill that. Kill the frogs. Dodge the gargoyle head flame. Dodge that one too. Oh, another frog. Kill the frog. Like the money. And I, lo I love the Egyptian theme on that too. Like the music is common on for all of the bosses on the Master System version and for all of the dungeons. But they seem to put the spin on this of it seems to be in sync with the area, which is a great thing. Because it just adds to the ambience and whatever the level. There we go. Got health in. Now these springs are tricky because you got to time your jumps now. There we go. Jump over that. Jump over that. We moved it. Dodge that. Oh, we have a double jump here. Oh, we got hit. Not good. It's okay though. Kill the ghost. Jump over that. Got it. Good. Jump over that. Oh. Jump over that. There we go. Put the ghost to peace again. And we drop down here. Oh, and we got two of these. Drop down here. Slight little mini maze of sorts here. Which looks a bit like that on the old one. But it's okay. So. What's behind this door with a gigantic scarab on it? Let's find out. And we have the mummy dragon. Right, we hit it three times there. Oh, we got hit a lot there. Bounced around. Oh, and again. Dodge the green breath. Oh. We got breathed on again. But avoid being stuck in a corner. Another three hits on it. Oh. Lifted his uh, altitude up a bit there. There we go. Hit another three times. Here he comes again. Got another once. Dodge the green. He's getting battered. He is getting severely battered. There is the green stuff. Oh, go. Oh. We can hit him. We got him. Excellent. There is the blue flame. Let's not get caught by it while we're collecting the money. We need to collect gold. And we got caught, and we are now mouse man. So yeah, we are now a mouse. Who looks quite Mickey-like in there. So yeah, these checkered blocks, what should I do now? So yes, mouse man can climb these checkered blocks. Keep springing. And if I jump on and... Oh, there we are. He can actually go into things. And just run around. Drop down here. Let's see what I can. Oh, 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 God! The... These are now on eye level with most man. That's quite a problem. Let's go around here. Dodge these pumpkins. Dodge these enemies. Actually, head this way. 
drop down and through the door. There's a chest here. Yeah? What's in this chest? Money. Lots and lots of money. And a heart to fully regenerate. We're on 1,126 health. Cashing. That's not too bad at all. Dancing shield. Yeah, let's buy that. Gives 65 defense to most men. So now we go through this door. And this is marked the return point. So we jump through here. And this beams us back to town. As I said, the hub. Let's go to the church again in a second. If you guys want to follow along with the password, there it is. And that's enough. So now we're going to head off and uh, see what else we can get to. Now we saw those blocks by the entrance to the desert, didn't we? So we'll, we'll try and use them and see what happens. Jump here. A very shop, a shop convenient for mice. Oh no, these are very nice bits of equipment. However, they are way out of my price range right now. Let's make a note of those, or they might come in handy later. So we'll go go down here. Let's see what else we can find. There's blocks here, but they'll be handy later. Good the nurse. There, I look too healthy, so that's fine. Let's go this way. Go around here. Open the door. So have the night shield and the prince armor. Both are quite expensive, but we don't have the money for either of them at the moment, so... Gonna leave those be. So, here we are. In the woods. Getting attacked by one of those clouds again with no arrows, so this could be a problem. Just jump over here. Make a run for it. It's another cloud. And his projectiles are actually following me. This could be a problem. Let's jump over them. Double jump over them. All of these are the same height as Mouse Man. Oh, so we have a maze. So let's uh, follow this a sec and see where it leads. So there we get there. We jump this way. Follow the gigantic red arrow, and it takes us to the jungle. So what are we going to do in the jungle? Well, hopefully, we'll be able to get some more answers in terms of what's happening to us with these curses and how we can get them lifted. But we're not going to do that this video. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Carl. If you did like the video, feel free to click a like on the like button. If you didn't like it, feel free to click the thumbs down. Just tell me what you didn't like about it, and I can get that sorted for you as soon as I physically can. We're having fun in the jungle here. Mouse man there with his, uh, again, his mickiness. And his a lot more indis his indistinguishability as a mouse there. So, with that being said, if you did like the videos an awful lot, feel free to click the subscribe button. And then click the bell icon to make sure that any notification of my new videos pops right into your sub box. So until the next part, my name's been Carl. Hope you have fun, have a good evening, and see you next time.